Uh, hey everybody, uh, my name is Bonnie the Bunny, and I've got some good news and bad news for y'all today. Uh, let's start off with the bad news. Uh, the bad news is that FNAF World has been deleted from Steam. It's gone, vanished, kaput, and it appears that Scott deleted it because of uh, bad reviews. Uh, he's left this announcement here on Steam, and uh, let's give it a read, shall we? Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a post about the fate of FNAF World. Even though the game had a very positive rating with 87%, I was not satisfied with the reviews and ratings it was getting. For that reason, I've decided to remove the game from Steam. I've also asked Valve to make it so that the game can be refunded, regardless of the amount of time that it has been owned. Meaning that anyone can get a refund at any time. It may take them a while to set that up, but it will be in place soon. I'm still going to work on FNAF World and polish it up. I'm busy creating a fully 3D overworld for the game. When I'm ready to update the game, I will replace the demo currently on Game Jolt with the full game. From this point forward, the game will always be free. I appreciate your support and encourage you all to refund your Steam game, even if you enjoyed it, and download the new version when it becomes available on Game Jolt. Smiley face. Okay guys, so yeah, we've got the good news and bad news here. The bad news is, like I said, it's been removed from Steam. Uh, the good news is, uh, Scott is polishing up the game, and he's gonna re-release it with a 3D overworld. Heck yeah, that's what we wanted. And uh, he's also said that anyone can refund the game, and that the new version of FNAF World will be free. Okay, now personally, I think I'm an oddball, because me and the rest of the animatronics, we quite enjoyed FNAF World, we had a good time playing it. I mean, we can understand why people didn't like it, I mean, the 8-bit overworld was a bit weird, but still, I thought the game in general was pretty damn good. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how the game's gonna be polished up, but I am not gonna be refunding this game, because I'm willing to support Scott, he spent a lot of time putting this game together, and even though he rushed it, he clearly cares about the fans, and as such, he can keep my money. He can keep my money, okay? I'm gladly gonna keep the uh, version of FNAF World I have now. And uh, there's something I want to ask you guys. Um, I was gonna play FNAF World today and release it, but because this has happened, I want to ask you guys, do you want us to keep playing the game, or do you want us to wait until the new FNAF World comes out, and then we'll play that one? We'll continue from where we left off, uh, in the mysterious mine, where BB was, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll restart basically with the 3D world, because I don't know how else he's gonna change the game. There could be other updates besides the overworld, who knows? Uh, maybe there'll be secret characters and stuff, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, so guys, please let us know in the comments below, do you want us to continue playing FNAF World now, or should we wait until the new version comes out? Okay, guys, so I hope you're not too upset about this news. Um, I'm kind of, I don't know how to feel, I'm kind of happy because we're gonna be getting a better version but I'm sad because it got deleted and so many people were making Scott feel bad. And I really hope he's okay because he doesn't really deserve that kind of stuff. I mean, I saw the reviews on Steam and a lot of people were just trolling because they don't like Scott. They don't like FNAF or anything FNAF related. They just wanted to troll and make themselves feel good. And that's really unfair to someone who works really hard like Scott. That's really unfair. But you know, haters gonna hate. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it, but oh well. Um, so Scott, if you happen to see this, which you probably won't, I really wish you the best. I hope the uh, the progress of the new FNAF world goes smoothly, and I really hope the next release will be a lot better than this one, because it was kind of depressing how bad this one was. <laughs> I mean, like he said, it was 87% good. Wait, 87? Bot of 87 confirmed! Uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it was 87% positive, but still, like, if you went on the FNAF World page, it was negative review after negative review. It was ridiculous, and oh my god, like, it was kind of depressing just looking at that page. So I'm really hoping, yeah, this new uh, release turns out smoothly, because Scott deserves it. And you guys out there in the FNAF community, you deserve to have a good game and to have a good time, because you're all awesome. And you also deserve really good videos from us here on ETH Goes Boom. So please let us know what you want us to do in regards to FNAF World, and we'll do it. Okay, guys, so uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> hey, bye everybody.